Welcome back everyone. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been uh, busy and doing stuff back from the hurricane so that's why I just wanted to put a little quick update on here and also a little bit of sad news. Um, our little ducky um, passed away suddenly uh, last week and let me just show these guys quick. We got a new a new, these are wild ducks, a mallard, but there's, they come in here every day. They like to hang out with, with our ducks, and there's two geese that seem to stay out here all the time. Even our other outdoor cats, they don't seem to mind, but they'll come to me. I can call them. I feed them, but they really don't care too much about, they don't eat a real lot because they must eat all day. So I call them little ducks, even though our other guy was called little ducky. But I just, right little ducks? Hi ducks. Hi ducks. It's funny, they'll come down to the shop and they'll come and get me if, if they fly in and I didn't know they were here. Um, they're really cute. Um, anyway, um, yeah, little ducky just passed away suddenly. Um, as you, a lot of you know, he, he was uh, disabled and lived in our, <laughs> actually lived in a playpen uh, in the living room. We used to take him on vacation with us. I mean, he's quite the character, had his own personality. He could, he could talk to you. He would say goodnight and a and, uh, whole bunch of things. But it was really sad. We watched him pass right in front of our eyes. Um, right? I mean, he was fine, and 10 minutes later, he passed. Um, so we, we still have him inside. We had him cremated and have a little statue, uh, like a little replica of them that we put on top of it and then uh, a week later um, one of our indoor cats bear who we've hey, he was uh, 13 years old um, he started not to be able to breathe and uh, unfortunately we had a we had to put him down as well so we we have him we had him cremated as well so it's been a sad it's been a sad time i'll put some pictures of them up um you can see the little ducks are heading down towards the shop because they know that's where i'll be heading um so they kind of came to keep me company after a little ducky passed and and uh so this is what we have seven seven left four pekings and uh three ruins and we have to separate them at night. They sleep in the in the in the uh, pen, but we have to divide it off because they they just like to fight with each other. I don't know what it is, but they they do. So we had to divide it off even in the daytime. But they hang out, but they'd fight if they're together. So anyway, um, I'm just going to give a quick uh, quick update on um, what I did. I did a little preparation um, for Debbie. Um, luckily. We got a lot of breaks in the rain in between, um, so it wasn't, we got like 23 inches or 24 inches of rain total, but we had a lot of breaks in between and the ground was dry, so um, as you'll see, I didn't really take any video while it was happening, or I didn't really take any video of, I went over and put a lot of the uh, concrete riprap on the back side of the dam where the water normally uh, makes the turn and comes down and washes out. Um, and as you'll see in the video, um, the water was pretty high, but not as high as it's been, and I did not get any any major damage, just a couple of little, just very small little washouts, which I fixed and I was outside um, and you'll see it's only about 20 second clip but Wendy took a video of me I I cut a ditch over by the um, over by the memorial area just we were getting there was a lot of water that was building up right there so I cut a ditch um, over there and I'll, I'll put that uh, I'll put that in at the end I'll show you what I did so anyway, so this is going to be a couple of, uh, just a little bit of uh, update on that. And what else am I doing? I'm still working on the house uh, inside, doing uh, a lot of odds and ends framing and stuff around the outside that needs to be done. Uh, I'll be doing this, I'll be starting the siding soon. And yeah, I guess that's about it. I also want to put up... Uh, Kevin, my son-in-law, was here, and he took some drone video. So I'm either going to attach it on this one, or I'm going to do a standalone. I'll probably just do a standalone one um, on that. So, all right, that's what I've been doing. Here's uh, here's what I got for you.
So I'm digging up all this gumbo to spring back to the dam to keep filling in what should have gotten fixed already. I mean, it's been months and months and months since they got the money. They have no rain all summer, and now this is what I still have to continue to waste fuel, machine, tracks, grease, wear and tear on 100,000. Well, between two machines, uh, two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars in equipment. I mean, just for this, what I'm doing—it's ridiculous. All right, I didn't film it, but had a whole bunch of broken up concrete slab over there, and I brought it down. I'm not really crazy. Well, this is packed down nice and tight, but I'm not happy about. Hopefully, that won't create a rut for water but this is all slab in here this is gumbo so I didn't touch that but this is where the water comes in right here so this whole thing is like you could call it rip wrapped with slab concrete so when the water comes down it should bounce off this and go back out again hopefully I don't have enough time it's already starting to rain and it's almost six o'clock and I've got to dig for some more concrete but I think that will I think that'll help this is the main part that's always a problem so fingers crossed when the driveway gets flooded with water in the middle of a tropical storm what do you do you get out and dig a ditch so that it runs away from the driveway well so far, not too bad after after Debbie. There's not too much, not too much water flowing. Well, I mean, there's a lot of water flowing, but it's not very high. So that's a good thing. But this could rise because most of this does come from North Carolina. So we shall see. I'll go check out the dam. Well, from here, the dam looks like it held up okay. This area had grown in and it had its little things going on. Looks like that couple of trees have fallen down. And looks like the water might have gone up, might have been higher, and it went up into that property there. But all is well right here. I put a little concrete in that to slow that one down a bit this one I dug so had a little bit of wash down that was flat when I dug it so but not much from here is washed this one was already here I didn't touch that one because it had quite a bit of growth on it this is where I pulled all the all the concrete rip wrap from I still have one big piece that I couldn't pick it up all the way um, I could pick it up I could pick it up with the with the blade and the bucket but I did not want to mess up the edge and so this is where I tried to get all the water to go to so this did wash just a little bit as you can see there's a lot that went down there so I will have to go down there to get it get out some of it because all that does not need to be there but this did work and this is the part here that I that I fixed up a little bit so really this one spot right here just needs to be fixed and I knew it I didn't have enough material to do it properly but this one I had filled in um, I left it a little bit low so nothing would go over the side and I did want it to run down to that spot but I've got to fortify that I'm going to fortify that with gumbo because then that will not that will not wash and you can see my rip rip wrap here worked as it should have very little run down which is a good thing Obviously, one spot right here did wash down, but like I said, the gumbo, the gumbo does not wash very well. 
which is a good thing. So I've got to finish, I've got to finish, uh, you know, I've got to fix this up a little bit so we don't have that runoff. But with the amount of rain we got, this worked out, this worked out pretty well. Hard to tell if any water has come up this high, it doesn't really look like it. Like I said, this is where it makes the turn. We're kind of over there makes the turn, but it still makes the turn in here. So I guess a little bit did go up in there. This so this must be a lot lower than it was overnight. But I'm happy with this. Like I said, I won't be able to fix it. See, this is where it makes the turn. And let's see how far the water's come up. So this is the this is the uh, the ditch that's between uh, Gwyn and us. So the water did not come up too high. It looks like maybe it's come down about three feet. But as I've said before, the water doesn't come up over here before it goes onto that property over there. It is lower. I purposely built this up. So all in all, I'm happy the water level the water level came up. Well, you can see probably about three feet. This is kind of where it where it had been before the drought. Um, so, yeah, I can't complain too much about that. All right, I'm going to take a walk down to the retention pond on Gwyn Way and go see how that looks. And David left me a sign over here on the other side. Over this is by uh, Eagle Mountain, a shotgun shell which we were avid trap shooters and all shooters, but we were on trap league and we enjoyed doing that. So I know that's a sign. Thank you, David. And the hawk just flew over. I didn't get the camera on in time. Well, and here's the retention pond after Debbie. Thankfully it's up now so that Yep, and it's not even at the overflow yet, so just barely trickling. <clears throat> so that's where it needs to be, and I won't get too many more weeds. I like it. Let's see if we got any water trickling out of the pipe. Not sure if we could still see it. Oh yeah, yep. And it's trickling. I'm sure it was flowing pretty good last night. All right, so this, this was the area that was building up with water because back, I don't know when it was, over a year ago when I did David's garage, I had bought some stone uh, for here and I ran out. I didn't go get enough. And I had, already, I had already scraped this down low. So this is a low spot here. And I'm going to do the whole driveway at one time, so I didn't bother to fix it yet but I cut that in quick um, and that worked out great this drains right out goes into the main uh, ditch ponds over there and goes down to the creek so so yeah we we really had no uh, we really had no uh, damage to speak of and um, another good thing is DHEC is coming and that's the uh, they're in charge of the mining uh, operation and as I've talked about before they were supposed to come down and um, you know there's a twenty thousand dollar reclamation bond that was here I spent more than that in fuel <laughs> for the past five years but anyway they're supposed to be coming today to uh, to come and what I want them to do is uh, concentrate on the dam and if I can get some rock and whatever else we'll talk about but um, so that was good news that was good news for that so Again, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. And again, I don't know when the next one will be, but um, we shall see. And the other thing I did in between all this time, um, well, actually, it's not in between. I'm actually doing it today. Um, I've been wanting to do it in between. Uh, just hit 160 hours, I think, something like that, and I wanted to uh, tighten up the tracks just a hair. They seemed a bit loose, so um, if you don't know how to do it on these, um, you want to measure from the center bogey wheel 
it should be from a half inch to like an inch and an eighth. So I put it about five eighths of an inch. Um, and to tighten it, just the 13 millimeter bolt right here. Take this one out, loosen that one. Right here is a uh, grease zerk and just, uh, just pump it up until you watch the center wheel and get it to the distance. So I did that and I'm gonna do, next I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna get the dozer out and I'm gonna check that one as well. Well, this one's good. I remember I just did this not too long ago, so that's a good thing. I don't have to take the time to do that, but it would be the same thing. Grease zerk is behind that. Take one bolt out, loosen the other one, door flips down, get right to the grease zerk, which pushes the piston out. Here they come. This is the end of the day. They finally came back. Here they are. Hi, little ducks. Hi, little ducks. Hi. Hi, little ducks. Hi, little ducks. You coming? You coming, little ducks? Hi, little ducks. You coming? Hi, little ducks. Well, they'll come for dinner later. See, here they come. Hi, little ducks. Hi, little ducks. What are you doing? Huh? Hi, little ducks. Hi. You gonna go see with the duckies? Go ahead. Go ahead. I've seen them. I think at night they'll they'll nest in that little group there they've been in what I call the witch tree this I'll put up a picture of this this used to be it looks just like well it's what we call it a witch tree you could see for yourself um, and I just I left the stump it, it blew over in a in a hurricane I think it was Hurricane Florence, or it might have been Matthew, I can't remember. But I left the stump uh, just as a remembrance of it, and it kind of just stays just like that with the with the vine growth that's on it. Um, I've seen them in there, and then they're also in what I call the maze. And I've got to give a land tour. Um, but all in here, these there's all trails all cut through all in here, and I call it the maze because there's always a lot of deer and everything in there so i'll have to do a separate a, another separate video on that but um a lot of times they're in there so it's it's good they've been here for i don't know probably about a month they're coming to see they followed me down here they're hanging out with me down here <laughs> come on little ducks here you come come on come on little ducks here's our one in 30,000 geese that have that coloring. I'm calling them over here. Come on, gooseies! I think they're actually listening. This is after one day. We shall see if they're coming. Well, and here is my new, my new flock. <laughs> they come, they all come for me to feed them. Oh, don't hiss at me. You feed them and they still hiss at you. And then my little ducks over there, they come, they come for a little nibble. So here they are. I spread them out a little bit so they can all have their own areas. But of course, bullies will be bullies, but they're getting along. This is right off David's porch. They're back for dinner. We've got the albinos and 
Misty on my lap. Ready for a sunset, maybe. A lot of clouds. You can hear the hawk. Of course, now he's not talking. But you could hear the hawk in the background. That light is the one that was swinging. Unbelievable. It's still going. I try calling her. She's not answering the phone. No idea what she's doing. Still going. All right, it's almost five after nine. It's still going. It's still going. And I just, it's, it hasn't worked. And I just came out here to, you can see I've got the lights there. I'm going to change the ones that aren't working. And I got the ladder and I'm also got the, I also got the basket out. I just greased it up over there, but I was just going to bring it in. And I looked up and the light that was swinging <laughs> is now working again. So I'm just going to put another one in front of it because just in case but David's talking to me again thanks David today is the 20th of August 2024